A janitor's kill to the green kettle, a little bin honey, and she has skin to cast a hoe as fast as she could hay. She had a pulled a double rose, a rosebud and a briar. When Uton started young Tamlin, says Janet Yell Paul Nimir. Hello and welcome to episode 24 of A Year in Folk Song. I'm Rob Thorpe and this week, as promised, I've got a ballad of epic proportions for you in the form of Tamlin, surely one of the most enduring and famous folk songs in the English language. I'll keep this brief since the ballad goes on for 40 verses. Yes, 40. We're going to be here for a while. And it's taken quite a feat of memory to get it ready to perform. I was actually up near the real location where this fictional story is set in the woodland and farm area of Carterhoe, uh, just south of Selkirk in the Scottish Lowlands. But uh, it's taken such a long time to memorise it all that it was just not going to happen at the time, unfortunately. That would have been very cool. Anyway, my version draws heavily on Ewan McCall's a cappella version from his duo album with Peggy Seeger, and also I recommend John Bowden's version, Anais Mitchell and Jefferson Hammer's version on their Child Ballads album, as well as Mike Waterson's, which is also a cappella, um, if I remember correctly, but a lot less reliant on the Scots dialect, which I've really dug into once again and has a lot more melodic variety. But I've enjoyed having the limited melody and really trying to explore a bit more storytelling and kind of dramatic type um, techniques as well as purely working on the vocals. So that's been good fun. Anyway, this is Tamlin. I hope you enjoy it. I forbid ye maidens all the wear gowd in your hair to come or gaby cut a hoe for young Tamlin is there. There's nane the geese through Carterhoe, but pays to him their fee. Either their rings or green mantle, or else their maiden head. But Janet is killed to the green kettle, a little bin her knee, and she has gained to Carterhoe as fast as she can hide. She had a pulled a double rose, a rosebud and a briar. Before out sprang young Tamlin, says Lady Al Pulney Mere. Why pull ye the rose, lady, and why break ye the wand? And why come ye to Carterhoe, with you and my command? Carterhoe is mine, she said. Me daddy gave to me, and I will pass through Carterhoe without the leaf of thee. So he's taken her by the milk white hand, and by the grass green sleeve, and he's taken her down by a river bank, and to ask her leave. So Janet is killed to the green kettle, a little bit in her knee. And she has gained to your daddy's host as fast as she can hide. No four and twenty ladies fair, just plain at the board. And Danny gained like any queen and flew among them all. No four and twenty ladies fair, just plain at the chest. And Janet flew among them all. As green as any grass. Then out spake an old grey nicked o'er the castle wall. He said, Alas, dear Janet, now I fear ye are gotten a far. Your petticoat is gay shorter, and we'll be blame at all. Oh, hold your tongue, ye old grey nicked, or an ill death may a dee. Feather my bane on what I will, but I'll feather nane by thee. Then out spake her own feather, said Janet, you're beguiled. Your petticoat is gay shorter, and I fear ye gang wi child. Oh, if I gang wi father, it's I will take the blame. 
There's no a nick to beat your house Shall bear my baby's name And Janet has kilted a green kettle A little bin honey And she has gained tea cast a how As fast as she could hie She had a pulled a double rose A rosebud and a briar When Uton started young Tamlin Says Janet, you'll pull me beer. Why pull you the rose, Janet, among the leaves so green? I have far to kill that bonny babe that we got us between. Oh, tell me, new Tamlin, she said, for he'd sake you died on tree. You know you were in holy kirk. Or else in Christendee. I Roxborough was my grandfather, and we in my dead raid, and it fell out upon a day that would in me betide. I it fell out upon a day, a cold day and a snow. Then we were by the hunting came that be my horse I fell. The Queen of Elfin land passed by, and took me with her to dwell. In war it is a pleasant place for them that in there dwell, though at the end of seven years they'll pay their soul to hell. The next it is old Halloween, when Elfin folk do ride, and them that would their true love save. At Miles Cross they mun bide. But tell me now, Tamlin, she said, When you're among the throng, How should I ken my true to love Among that uncle band? Some will ride the black, the black, And some will ride the brun, And I'll be on the milk-white steed, Shot in a shiller shoon. The eye hand will be glove Janet, the other will be bare, and by these tokens I'll give ye, you'll ken that I am there. The first comely that passes by, say nay and let him gee, the second comely that passes by, then let him gang away, but the third comely that passes by, then I'll be ye you know thee. You hie me till your milk white steed, and put me quickly doon. Throw your green kettle over me, to keep me from the rain. Now turn me in your rims, lady, to an adder and a snake. But hold me fast unto your breast, be a worldly make. Now turn me in your rims, lady, a spotted toad to be. And hold me fast unto your breast, to enjoy your fair body. Now turn me in your rims, lady, to me the naked man. Cast your green kettle over me, to keep me from the rain. First put me in a stand of milk, sign in a stand of water. And hold me fast unto your breast, I am your bane's feather. Janice is killed to the green kettle, a little up in her knee, and she has gained her miles cross as fast as she could hie. The first company that passed her by, she said, nah, and let him gay. The second company that passed her by, she let him gang away. But the third company that passed her by, that he was, you know, they. She's hide her to his milk white steed and put him quickly doon. Cast her green kettle over him to keep him fade the rain. They've turned him in his lady's arms to an adder and a snake. She held him fast unto her breast, he was her worldly make. They've turned him in his lady's arms, a spotted toad to be. She held him fast unto her breast. To enjoy her fair body, they've turned him in his lady's arms to a mither naked man. She cast her green kettle over him to keep him free the rain. 
Now she's put him in a stand of milk, sat in a stand of water. She's held him fast unto her breast, he was her bane's feather. Out spake the queen of elfin land, o oh, a bush of broom. Oh, what has got a young Tamlin, has got a stately groom. Out spake the queen of elfin land, o oh, to a thorny tree. Oh, what has got a young Tamlin, has tanned my love for me. Get I a ten Tamlin, she said, a lady would borrow thee. I would have torn out the twa green eyes, put in twa rain a tree. Can I had Ken Tamlin, she said, when first we came to Haim. I would have torn out that hair to flesh, put in the hair to stain.